She got confidence like nobody else And she don't need nobody here Ain't waiting on a man, uh-uh She got off of Hey guys, myself. welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing my makeup, of course, and I thought it would be great to have my Instagram supporters. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you didn't see my story post, but I did post on my story and I had you guys choose my makeup so I'm gonna film and show you guys the votes um, I did have polls on my stories and I let you guys pick how I'm gonna do my makeup I'm honestly super duper excited to film this because it was so interesting to see like what you guys were gonna choose for me to do and then I like I thought it would be one thing and you guys chose something else and I was like oh my gosh like I'm so shook like I so thought that they would choose this thing or that thing so we're gonna jump right into this video I've already primed my face and if you're wondering what I use to prime my face I do use the photo finish um, Smashbox I've used this since forever in all my videos you're gonna see that this is my holy grail and I just love the way it feels I love the texture and I literally just I love it so much and it makes my makeup look so good. Let's just go ahead and jump into this video, you guys. I'm kind of nervous because I kind of like stepped out of my comfort zone with some of my poll decisions and then the ones that you guys chose, I was like, oh, I don't even know if I could do this, but we're gonna try it and you guys are gonna be able to go through this with me and who knows, maybe I'm gonna really love this makeup routine and maybe it's gonna be my new makeup routines. So the first poll was, do a light beat or a full face and everyone chose a light beat, which I'm honestly super duper surprised. Um, so I've never really done a light beat in my life. So now that's what we're going for. That's what we're doing. I'm going to put on my foundation. As you guys know, I love using the Estee Lauder. Like I, the reason why I love this is because I can put on little, like literally just a little bit. And then if I do want that full coverage, I can just double, that's what it's called, double wear. <laughs> It's called double wear, but um, if I wanted to, I could just put more on to make it more of like a full coverage. But here is just so you guys know that I'm not capping with the. Let's see, let's focus this. Just so you guys know that I'm not capping, here is. You know what? I'm probably just gonna have to screenshot and like put them in the corner so that way you guys know. Yeah, I'm not capping. I'm really doing this. I'm really doing what you guys want me to do. I'm only going to put like very, very little since it's going to be a light B and I kind of want to go for like a natural vibe. So I'm only going to be using like very little and I'm going to try to like stretch it out, make it last throughout my whole face. And as you can see, actually, no, I'm not going to say that because we're just going to, I'm going to just let you guys find out what you guys chose. And it's going to be kind of hard for me to figure out like a light beat to do because some of the options you guys chose, I was like, okay, how can I turn this into a light beat? Like, what is a light beat? <laughs> we don't know her. Yes, I need a new beauty blender, y'all. This thing is, it's because my nails like dig into it. And can we just take a moment to appreciate my eyelashes? Like, shout out to my lash girl. They're electric lashes on Instagram. They are so freaking bomb. And it's so cute because it's like two sisters that do like lashing together. I would love to do something with my sister. I think it would be so cute. I'm gonna need more foundation, like, my freaking face is huge. Next is laminated brows or natural. You guys literally chose natural thin brows. So, here's my brows. They're not laminated, and if you know me, you know that I laminate my brows and comb them before I even do my face of makeup, and I didn't do that today because... We are going for natural thin brows. So all I'm gonna do today is literally just fill in and comb them. I'm not gonna, not gonna laminate them. You guys, this is gonna be so weird for me because I literally laminate my brows all the time. Really just coloring in my natural brow, my natural shape.
This is so different for me, guys. Oh, I'm kind of digging it. I kind of, ooh, I kind of like this. Natural brows come at the root. Bro. Okay guys, I think we're doing something. Ooh. Mmm. This is so cute. Okay, I think this is gonna be the cutest natural beat I've ever done. really do like this natural brow with no lamy. I just need to clean it up because <laughs> yeah. All right, so now I'm going to just clean them up a little bit because they just need to be they just need a little cleaning. I want to brush my lashes so bad, but I know that they're just going to keep like going crazy anyways. Let's clean the brows, girls. Okay, this looks so freaking cute, but I think I just need to fill in a little more over here, or maybe I just needed a comb it. Perfect! Now we're gonna do concealer, and then I asked you guys if I should do a bright under eye concealer, or if I should do a not bright under eye concealer, and all of you guys chose bright, so that is what I'm going to give you guys. So, but first, I'm going to go in with the Tarte Light Sand. Just because I only want it bright underneath my eye. But I do need this light, this like closer shade to my foundation to bring up here. Let me, it's honestly better if I just show you guys because I'm not really good at explaining things. Oops, I forgot my chin. I forgot my chin. Okay. <gasps> no freaking way, bro. The girls stay cutting my stuff. Last time they cut my eyelashes, and now this time they freaking cut my fully. Okay, so I'm blending out the light sand color, and I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. So this shade is a little lighter than my foundation color. And then I'm going to go in with the Fair Neutral because that one is whiter. And that's what's going to give me my brighter under eye look that I'm going for. So here we are with the Fair Neutral. And then I'm just going to let that sit so that way it can like get a little dry and blend better instead of it being like super wet. Oh my god, my lashes look crazy. They look a little cry cry. Oh, one came out. What else? Okay, now we're going to go ahead and blend out this lighter one. I need it to focus so I can show you guys. And as you can see, it's giving me that brighter under eye. 
look that you guys voted on. <laughs> Now I have to go in with my powder because once I do my concealer, I have to use my translucent powder because I hate getting those like wrinkles and like lines underneath or like the creases because I just hate the way it makes my makeup look. So I'm going in with the Too Faced translucent powder. This is another item of mine that I use a lot. I'm just going to go ahead and put that on. A smaller brush I can use for this. This brush is perfect, especially like around the eyes or even like underneath. This is the Morphe M173 brush. I love it. I even use it like up here. Just because it's smaller and when I have lash extensions, I don't really use the bigger powder brush because I don't want the powder all over my lashes. So now I'm going to do my chin and then of course the little smile lines so that way when I smile because I smile all the time I don't want to get creases and then for some reason my nose gets the oiliest out of my whole like face so we gonna put some on our nose is there enough oh my god there's a lot there was a lash stabbing my eyeball so yeah you just want to Put some powder on your face. Okay, so now we are going to move on to the eyeshadow. Okay, everyone chose. Okay, so these were the, t hold on, there's something in my eye. Oh my gosh, you know those like little, little, little pieces of lint? That's what was in my eye. And it would have ruined everything. It would have ruined my makeup. It would have ruined my powder that I literally just put on. And then the video would have just been over because it would have been all bad. Okay, so these were the options. I gave you guys an option of either pink eyeshadow because I was so down. I was down to do some color. I know you guys have been asking me to, you know, do some color. But everyone chose... A nude look so I was just a little disappointed because I was really trying to let my wings spread and try something new and you guys chose nude but you can never go wrong with nude so I'm honestly not even that upset next time I'm just not gonna give you guys the option and I'm just gonna try the pink one because we need some color in our life and I'd honestly be so excited to do a pink eyeshadow look for you guys. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so let's get my eyeshadow brush. I love using the Make Morphe Ariel makeup brushes. Like these brushes literally are so soft and the way they blend, it's literally like, I say literally a lot, oh my god. But it's amazing like look at this and it's so fluffy i just love it all the brushes are amazing okay so since we're gonna do a nude eyeshadow look i'm thinking of doing a cute little cut crease just something super chill and soft and i'm not gonna do it too dark so i'm gonna go in with the natural right here don't look at my ghetto setup okay and I'm just gonna blend up here. And then when I blend, I like to bring it into my like corner right here and down to my nose because it's just gonna flow all together when I contour. But since we're doing like a natural beat, my contour is not gonna be as sharp as usual. Not sharp, but like as 
I guess you could say dark or harsh. I don't know. It's not going to be as snatched. Okay, guys, I just keep looking at my lashes and I just keep falling in love more and more and more because they're just freaking perfect. Like, I'm in love enough i'm not gonna do it any darker because we are doing a light beat okay so now let's just blendy blend it might look dark on the camera but it's really not that dark next is gonna be the contour um probably usually i always use my anastasia saddle wood but I'm actually going to be going in with the Hoola Benefit one this time instead because this one isn't as dark or harsh like the Anastasia one. This one kind of gives me more of like that light brown um, look that I want to go for. And this is, I don't know what the name, like what the shade of this is. But anyways, this is what it looks like. There is a lighter one than this, believe it or not. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and do very light contour. Like, I don't even know if I want to contour my nose because I'm just trying to do something soft and chill. But we have to because I got a little fat nose. It's like a little fat nose, if that makes sense. Like, it's like fat right here. I don't know if you can see. But we're just going to do a little bit up here. We're going to make this big forehead. This big TV screen look smaller. Okay, this is actually coming out so beautiful. I'm so happy I did this. Okay, now we're just going to do very, very little contour on the nose. A little contour on the nose. Okay, I'm going to face this way so you guys can see what I'm doing. Can you? Yep. Okay, wow. That was a little dark. Okay. We're going to really have to, like, blend my nose. <laughs> Now this brush that I'm using to blend out my nose contour is the E20 Morphe brush. You guys, Morphe brushes are literally my favorite. I've used them since forever, since I even started buying makeup. And they've just really stuck with me because I love the way they blend. Um, especially like for the bigger brushes and my face brushes, I love to use these. With my eyeshadow brushes, I kind of like to explore and see which ones I like. Right now it is the makeup, I mean the Morphe and Ariel collab. They are my favorite. So the reason why I blend up here is because I told you guys when I was doing my eyeshadow, I like it to kind of blend in together because it's going to give you more of like that cute contour snatched look. And it just flows better okay so now that that is done um for my blush i gave you guys the well the choice to choose from was light blush or no we want blush baby we want to see it we want it to be super pink and cute so that's what i'm gonna give you guys i'm gonna give you guys super pink blush today so we're just gonna go ahead and use the blush that i always use it's the tarte blush but what i'll do is i'll just put like extra on because it'll make it super pink see there we go we can do this we got this remind me to go to ulta and buy a pinker blush Actually, yeah, I really do want to go get a pinker blush. Okay, I think the blush is blushing. Because sis is putting a lot. I'm giving you guys a lot of blush. 
Okay, I think that's it because I'm not trying to make my face look super pink. Because there's people that really just be doing a little too much with the blush. And me personally, I don't like that. But if it works for you, it works for you. Because like I always say, your face is your canvas. So when you're doing your makeup, and if you like it a certain way, there's literally no wrong way to do your makeup. You want to know why? Because if it makes you happy and you like it, then it makes you happy and you like it. Okay, so one of the polls was a dewy makeup look or matte. And of course, it was 50-50. But I'm already going for the matte look anyway. So we're just going to continue to do the matte. Mac matte look. I'm gonna go ahead and put some powder on my nose. <gasps> Ooh. And down here to kind of just so you guys can see that I have contour on because honestly I don't even see no bronzer on my face at this point. I honestly just see blush and it's new for me. So, bear with me, guys, because you guys are, you guys know I'm used to my Anastasia saddle bronzer. Okay, now I asked you guys what kind of lips I should do, and I gave you guys the option of nude lip combo with browns or a nude lip combo with pinks, and of course you guys went with browns because we love a good brown lip combo. I'm going to be doing a brown lip combo. So let's see what we've got here. I'm going to use, I'm going to use my Sugar Glass NYX Lip Liner. I used to watch this girl and she would make makeup tutorials and she had like that cute British accent and I would just be like, oh, this makes the video even better. Okay. Okay, does this even like, is this even like a, it is like a brown one. It's like a light brown. It's so cute. Okay, maybe it's more of like a pink. Yeah, this is definitely not like brown vibes, y'all. Sorry. Actually, it kind of is giving brown. It's like giving like very light nude brown. And I'm here for it. So we are going to take it and run with it, okay? Okay, guys, this is so cute. Now we're going to go in with the Dainty Days. NYX lip stick. Guys, this smells so good. Mm. Smells so good. We are going to be using my nude one KKW lip gloss. Um, Kim K needs to hurry up and come out with some more makeup because once this lip gloss is gone and out, I don't know what I'm going to do. Ooh. Okay, now it's time to clean it off. Next poll. Highlight or no highlight? And you guys chose, drum roll, highlight. So we're going to put on some, I'm going to be using my Becca highlight. Literally, I've had this for so many years. I can't even keep count because it's, I don't even know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but whatever. Um, we're going to be using this Becca highlight. It's so cute. Ooh. And when I do my nose, I like to use my finger because I just want a little cute dot. And I feel like when you just do like a little cute dot, it's going to give you that cute little button nose vibe, you know. So we're going to do that. 
And then I'm also going to be adding some of this highlight in the inner corner of my eyes right here just to kind of brighten it up and give a little razzle dazzle to my makeup. Okay. And then last but not least, I asked you guys, I feel like I'm in one of those TV shows where they're like asking the questions and they're like, you know, competing for money or something. But anyways, I asked you guys if I should do the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray or the Morphe setting spray and you guys chose Charlotte Tilbury and you guys chose right because this airbrush finish setting spray Literally, your makeup will last all day, and you will not have to really, well, for me personally, I don't know if it works for everybody, but I never really have to touch up my makeup when I use this. Ooh. Okay, I think I, bro, see, this is, mm, this is why I, laminate my brows because my brow hairs just do whatever they want like literally okay now I'm gonna comb out my lashes this is the final look it's honestly so cute I'm living for the just natural brows that are not laminated and I'm so happy with the results. I feel like this makeup look is so cute. This might be my new everyday makeup look. Thank you guys so much for helping me choose my makeup. And thank you guys for watching this video. If you are new to my channel and you have not seen this face before, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications. So that way you're notified every single time I post a video.